Hi everyone and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. So today I have a quick little build for you all because I made a base game and get famous only starter home. Just because whenever a new expansion pack comes out I like to create a starter home using only that pack in the base game just because it's a fun challenge to try to create a starter home using those limited packs and it's also really useful because as long as you have just that expansion pack you can just plop this into your game and use it without having to put any cheats and you don't have to worry about there being items from a bunch of different packs in it because I know not everyone has all the packs of course so I just like to try to do limited pack builds from time to time and I know I need to do more like I need to do more that aren't just starter homes um so hopefully that's something I could work on in the future but I don't know at the same time I like to just be able to use every item uh, but anyway the style I went with for this build was more of the Spanish inspired style that you see around Los Angeles a lot because I wanted to create something that looked like a realistic Los Angeles starter home and I noticed that a lot of starter homes in Los Angeles were in this sort of style because I did look at a lot of pictures for inspiration just to try to get the style right and create something that looked like it could have been right out of Los Angeles so yeah, I just felt like this style was the best and I just wanted it to be something that didn't feel very fancy, just felt very simple. So here we go. Although in Los Angeles, a house like this like would probably be at least like three or four hundred thousand, which is just ridiculous. But as I discussed in my last speed build, real estate there is just ridiculous. Like things just cost so much money. But I still really like how this house turned out. It's just a very cute little home. And it only has one bedroom, one bathroom, of course, because it is meant for one sim. And it is, of course, under 20,000 simoleons. So as I said before, no cheats are required to move into it. Although it was difficult to, or like it wasn't really difficult to make a starter home on a 40 by 30 lot, but it definitely added another layer of challenge because whenever I make starter homes, I usually go for the 20 by 15 lots or maybe the 30 by 20 lots. But Usually it's 20 by 15 or 20 by 20 because of course the larger the lot, the more money that gets taken away right away for buying the lot itself. So yeah, that, that definitely just added um, a little bit more of a challenge because right away there is a couple thousand more simoleons take, taken away than what usually would have been taken away because I think the lot itself, I could be wrong in this, but I think just the lot was three or 4,000 simoleons. But here I was just doing a little bit of terrain manipulation or well, I'm done with that now. I'm moving on to just adding a flower bed here. But I did do a little bit of terrain manipulation just because I wanted to add something like just a little something extra to it because I wasn't able to do a whole lot of landscaping due to the size of the lot and the budget. So I figured making a slight slope to the lot would would help a little bit with that. Like it would add a little something to the lot so it wasn't completely flat. So. I just raised it up very, very slightly and just created that slight slopage to the lot, which I really like. Like, even if I don't do a lot with terrain manipulation, I think with builds from now on, unless they're like a community lot build, I'll try to do at least that just to add that little bit of realism to it. But we are on the inside now. So with starter homes, I usually like to just get the, the basics of the outside done, like just get the shape of the house and the wallpaper and doors and windows and all of that, and then move on to the inside and then do the landscaping just because... I put more of a priority on the furnishing and then I like to see what I have left and just use that for the landscaping rather than doing what I usually do which is finishing the outside in full and then moving on to the inside but we already have the kitchen done at this point instead of using a dining room table and chairs I just use some island counters and some bar stools I felt like that filled the space in a little bit better and I also stuck the refrigerator just off to the side on that one wall because there was of course not really enough space for it in the rest of the kitchen area and I thought that added to the effect of this not really being the nicest house you know of it being kind of a slightly dumpy starter home so I thought that worked really well for the house and liked how that looked and um, in the living room here we got some furniture from Get Famous I wasn't really able to use as much as I would have liked because some of it was very expensive but I was glad I was able to use that coffee table and the couch and the bookshelf so yeah I'm pretty happy with how that came out like I feel like for a starter home this is pretty well furnished and with my starter homes I like to try my best to put window coverings in like I am here because I know it's like for a starter home it's just a waste of money but I also like my starter homes to feel homey and well furnished and not like their starter homes and I find that just making an effort to put in the window coverings goes a long way towards giving it that more lived in and homey feel. 
And I also like to try to add wall decorations in because that's another thing that really helps it to feel more complete and homey. So I did use those movie posters throughout the house in I think three places, just cause they were fairly cheap. I can't remember how much they were exactly, but I think it was like a hundred or 200 simoleons, which is I guess a lot to spend for a starter home, but it wasn't too bad. Um, but now we're onto the bathroom, which is very, very simple. I just kept with the cheap, cheapest stuff. Like we got the cheapest shower, cheapest toilet, cheapest sink. Like this is usually, these are usually the plumbing items that I use in starter homes just cause they are so freaking cheap that they just work so well for it. So I feel like my starter home bathrooms usually end up all looking the same, but I think that's fine. Cause you know, you gotta, you gotta save the money where it counts and plumbing items can be very expensive if you go beyond just the cheapest. And I also was able to use that painting from Get Famous in the bedroom because I was thinking it was a little too expensive originally, but I saw that I had a good bit of money left over in the end, so I just decided to throw that in. And I was actually surprised by the amount of money I had left after furnishing, because as you can see, I have over 3,000 simoleons left for the landscaping, which usually doesn't happen, but I was just really surprised by how cheaply I was able to furnish a house while still making it, making it feel fairly lived in. And I also added this fence of the yard, which was probably a huge waste of money, but I just wanted to do something to make the lot feel a little bit less bare. So I thought that adding that cheaper fence in was just a good way to kind of help balance out the, the amount of yard that was left around the house. And I also added that kind of dusty dirt terrain throughout most of the yard just to give the effect that the grass is drying a little bit, like it's not the most pristine or well cared for lawns. Lawn, so that was another thing that added some detail because with starter homes, I also like to try to use free things like the terrain paint to make it feel more, more well landscaped to make it feel more complete. So I also made kind of a dirt path going from the porch area to the street. Cause I felt like that kind of, kind of was better for this house than making a stone path. And then here I'm just filling it in with some cheaper landscaping. I sized up those low flowers to make it so just one of those would cover more. So or like cover more area. So that was another way to save a little bit of money. Cause I just like to come up with little ways to spend less simoleons to get the effect of this being a more expensive house than a starter home. But anyway, that is about it for this build. So as usual, there will be a link to downloads in the description and there's also information there on how to find in-game. But that's gonna be all for me. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.